applause at the whooping cheer. Welcome to the stage, John Duchamp. One, two, three, go! Let's go on stage, my friend, John Duchamp! Oh, hey, how are we, everybody? How's it going? Is everyone up to date on the news? You're all aware of the news? We're up to date on Mr. Depp and Ms. Heard at the moment? Are we paying attention? No. No? Well, it's crazy. Me neither, really. The only thing I really know is that Johnny Depp has never looked worse. <laughs> Honestly, he's so bloated and it's sad. But then he starts talking and you're like, oh, I forgot he's the man. <laughs> I forgot the king is in court right now. It's crazy. Because every time he speaks, it's like, oh, he's just putting on the best acting performance I've ever seen in my life. It's like, I forgot he could do that because his wife shit on his bed and he's a monster now. <laughs> I think in general, I'm just tired of feeling bad for old millionaires. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, you got slapped by Will Smith. Are you still a billionaire? <laughs> I think it's gonna be fine. I feel bad for young millionaires, you know? Like the way they fucked with Britney Spears when she was growing up. There'd be literal adults talking to her as a preteen. They're like, hey, Britney, show us those titties. What's going on under there? <laughs> and then 10 years later, those same people are like, why is she so fucked up? <laughs> it's like, because of you guys the whole time. The one that got me the most was uh, the way they went after Bieber. Because he's a fellow Canadian. That one got me here, you know. And on his ascent to fame, they went after him with such bullshit. Like, can you believe he's drunk driving? Like, I can't believe he's still alive. <laughs> I wouldn't be in that position. If you gave me that much money at that age, I would have filled a swimming pool with cocaine. <laughs> and people would be like, hey, where'd Jordan go? Oh, we found him dead at the bottom of his cocaine pool. <laughs> It's the craziest thing. When we emptied it, there were like eight hookers and a dog and a tennis racket. It was wild. Instead, they're like, did you know we pissed in a mop bucket? <laughs> like, that's what an 18-year-old without $20 million would do. It's crazy. I am told I drink too much. Uh, I hear it all the time. Friends, family, all my ex-girlfriends, my sponsor. <laughs> I feel like they just don't get me, you know. But I used to work at a craft beer bar, and I love craft beer, because it turns one of your problems into one of your hobbies. <laughs> People are like, wow, Jordan, drunk again? I'm like, I know, I can't help it, I'm a workaholic. <laughs> I'm just waiting for someone to come up with craft cocaine so I get rid of another one, you know? <laughs> Imagine you see a platter of blue powder. I'm like, what is that? It's a juniper? It tastes like <laughs> juniper. Oh my God, unbelievable. How about any smokers in the room? Give me a... <clears throat> no, cigarettes, really. I'm not going to make fun of it. Do we, does anyone else love cigarettes? Yeah. 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 Honestly, if you've never had five pints and then smoked a cigarette, you're not living. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Nothing really feels better. And if you're quitting, I'm sorry, but... You know what it's like, it, you can't quit. <laughs> I just hate the warning labels they put on them. Cause it's like they're trying to shame the shit they sell you. It's like, well then don't sell it if you feel that way. <laughs> but the money's still green. I actually, I think it's more of a testament to how great cigarettes are that we all still smoke them in spite of those labels, you know? <laughs> My dad used to wake up every morning, he'd be like, Jordan, check out this guy, he's covered in tumors. <laughs> And then he'd light the smoke and be like, it's still the best part of my day, though. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, oh my God, that shit must rule. Can't wait. Sometimes it's like a threat. You guys know the limp dick cigarette one? It's like, this could be you, fellas. It's like, you think I like fucking more than smoking? You're crazy. <laughs> The only ones I hate are vapors, because they don't call themselves smokers, they call themselves vapors. Personally, I call them the ones that deserve cancer. <laughs> yeah, because sorry, you don't just get to take out a dirty part and call it something different. It's like saying, oh, I don't suck dick, but I love drinking cum. <laughs> I get what you mean, but you still got a belly full of jism at the end of the day, you know? 